I mean, I know this sounds crazy, but I think she might be the one. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. Any word? She ghosted him. I bet she hasn't even seen your text. She does travel a lot for work. Go to her. I'm going to London. <laughs> oh my gosh, this soundbite has me chuckling. I mean, we've all been ghosted, or maybe we've done the ghosting. I mean, I've been on both sides. But this movie, Ghosted, one man thinks he's met the one. And then, well... She becomes Casper. <laughs> but it doesn't end there. Joining me now is Kathy Kaiser. She's our local movie critic. Kathy, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you for having me back. Of course. And this is a movie that is streaming on Apple TV. Chris Evans, Anna de Armas. I mean, so many rock stars in this movie. Adrian Brody. Uh, you can't go wrong. No, you absolutely can't go wrong with the cast. Mm -hmm. And maybe she is, you know, being ghosted because mm -hmm. she's a spy. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. So there's a little intrigue <laughs> to add to the mix, right? I love a good... Well, with spy movies, what category do they fall into? Action? Oh, action. Okay. Adventure. Adventure. Right? Sometimes they fall into those thriller, psychological... It depends on what kind of spy movie. Exactly. Hmm. You can't give too much away. Okay. But there are lots of things that that little clip didn't share. So what did you like about the movie? Even though the... The trailer was hmm, mm. very surface level. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the action. I love mm -hmm. the adventure. I love seeing Captain America. Yeah. You know. I mean, who doesn't like seeing right, Captain right? America? But he is a little bit demure mm -hmm. in this film yep. when it all gets started, and that was kind of taking me back a little. Mm -hmm. The chemistry is there, mm -hmm. but it's one of those films that maybe it could have been so much more than it mm. ended up being. It's not bad. My but husband sat through the whole thing with okay. me. Okay, hey, that says happen, a lot. Right? That I think she says might a be. Lot. That says a lot. <laughs> well, how many popcorns would you give this one? I give this one three out of five. Hey, okay, we'll take three out of five. I want to backtrack just a little bit. I mean, you talked about Evans being in this movie, right? and he's he has a kind of a different character. How cool is it to be able to see actors kind of come out of their roles that we know them as and wow. see them step into something new? Absolutely. And like I said, you know, I wanted him to be Captain mm -hmm. America, but he's not mm -hmm. until you get into the film. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he, he puts a lot of injury, and he is a little needy, and okay. I wasn't expecting that from the characters that we're used to, right? That's nice. Okay. Very I'm nice. excited to see this. I'm Very adding nice. this to my watch list. Next up is something that I will definitely be tuning into. It's kind of a piece of my childhood that's a film that's an adaptation from the classic story from Judy Bloom. It's, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Take a look. Please, just do this one thing for me. Let me just be normal and regular like everybody else. Just please, 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 please. I mean, I remember reading this book as a kid. Right, right. Like, My daughter's read it. See, yes. I know. I think yes. so many of us can understand what Margaret is going through, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, all of us ladies have been mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12 yep. years old, yeah. right? Coming mm -hmm. into being a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the trials and tribulations yeah. of maybe those nasty little mean girls. Yeah, I know, I know. And then to throw it in there, I mean, Margaret's mom is a Christian, right. Margaret's dad is Jewish, and she is just trying to figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah. I was really intrigued by the religious aspects that mm -hmm. intertwine in the story. You know, of course, her dad's Jewish. Yeah. And her parents are, you know, going to let her decide at mm -hmm. an older age, not today, yeah. what she wants to be. Mm -hmm. But she hasn't been exposed to a whole lot till her grandmother, played by <laughs> Kathy Bates, takes her to Oh, travel. I love it. Who doesn't love Kathy Bates? Oh, my gosh. So, what would you give this movie? This one's going to get four out of five. There was Ooh. not a woman or a young lady who walked out of the advanced screening this week mm. who didn't have a tear or two. Oh, by because we can all done. relate to it. Absolutely. Okay. Everyone would can would you have taken your husband to see this one, though? No. Okay. No. I would have taken <laughs> Fellas, this you can daughter. sit this one out. <laughs> we would have had a fabulous time, but mm. it's really a chick flick. Okay. 
And there's nothing wrong with a good chick flick. Right? At right? all. No. Any little girl over 11 should mm -hmm. be heading out to the theater to see this. Nice. Well, I cannot wait to get into the theater and watch both of these movies. And if you're at home and you love movies just as much as we do, you can follow Matinee Chat with Kathy Kaiser on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter so you can keep up with what's going on on the big screens and in Hollywood. Kathy, thanks so much for being here with us. Not a problem. Thanks of course. Me. And St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.